you've been out today, you probably noticed how oppressive that heat is. So it's really muggy out there. Probably had some frizzy hair with those dew points around the mid 60s. El día de hoy en Raleigh solo llegamos a una temperatura de 68 grados. Y en las próximas horas veremos un descenso en cuanto a las temperaturas. Compared to previous years, the weather was pretty great. Folks outside crews today were just, just enjoying the outdoors today. Yeah, it's nice to enjoy those uh, mid-70s. You know, that's a great way to wrap up August. 40 mile per hour wind gusts at times, but the bigger picture is the rain that is falling right now. And that is why we have flash flood warnings in effect. If you're anything like me, you're probably sick and tired of these 90 degree temperatures that we've seen. But hang in just one more day, and that's tomorrow. We'll see a high of 96, and then we're finally going to get some relief. As we head into Tuesday, we'll have a high pressure system closing in on us, and that's going to help to bring lots of dry, sinking air to our area and not allow for any cloud development. It'll be a great sight tonight if you're out to watch the Perseid meteor shower, maybe even here at the planetarium at UNC Chapel Hill. It's only going to be 65 degrees at kickoff, and I don't know about you guys, but I definitely recommend catching the game outside, maybe a bonfire or a cup of hot chocolate. Radar right now, nothing going on across the Raleigh area as well as areas to our south. We're staying pretty dry and that's going to remain as we head in through the afternoon hours, despite the rain that we had this morning. It is also very warm out there, actually unseasonably warm. We're seeing temperatures in the 70s in Lewisburg with a temperature of 72, Rocky Mount 73, and then even as we head further south, Fayetteville, we're seeing a temperature of 71, and Goldsboro, a temperature of 70. So very warm for this time of year. It might even be warm enough to get the kids out to the playground. Despite the clouds that we will see, we are not expecting any rain as we head into the next few hours. We'll have temperatures in the 70s as we head throughout the next few hours, and then we will cool down by the evening to 60 degree temperatures, but it'll still be uh, very nice out there. So take advantage of the beautiful day that we have ahead. The clouds that we do see moving through our area are associated with the cold front. You can see the clear uh, line on the back side of that cold front. And the cold front is now moving out, but is bringing lots of rain and snow to the north. Here we are staying pretty dry, but for the next few hours, we will continue to see clouds push through our area and exit out by the evening hours before leaving us with a pleasant evening. As we head into tomorrow, we're expecting very dry conditions. It'll be beautiful, even though it will be cold. As the cold front exits, it'll bring much colder temperatures to us, but we'll take that over rain because we'll have temperatures in the mid 40s tomorrow. And then by 12 a.m. when you're ready to do your countdown, we'll have a temperature of 41. So it will be fairly cool out there as you celebrate the New Year's. As we zoom out and look at our seven day forecast, tomorrow will be dry and cool with a temperature of 57. We'll remain dry as we head into the first with a temperature of 53 degrees. Clouds will build back in on Thursday as we steadily warm up to 58. And then Friday we'll have warmed up to 66 degrees, but we will have another chance of rain and that rain chance will linger as we head into Saturday and clouds will move out by Sunday. Buenos días a todos y gracias por acompañarme en esta hermosa mañana. No podríamos haber pedido condiciones mejores el fin de semana ya que tuvimos temperaturas otoñales y también condiciones secas en toda nuestra región. Si se está preparando de ir a la iglesia, ahorita tenemos una temperatura de 61 grados en Raleigh y en las próximas horas las temperaturas se subirán hasta los 78 grados para las 2 de la tarde. En el satélite tenemos alguna nubosidad sobre nuestra área y estas nubes no nos traerán lluvia a nosotros aquí en Raleigh, pero sí nos dejarán con una hermosa puesta de sol en la tarde. Mañana comenzaremos a entrar a un patrón de tiempo inestable a medida que un sistema de baja presión descienda hacia el sur en nuestra área en los próximos días, trayéndonos temperaturas más bajas de lo que hemos visto en los últimos días. Es por eso que la perspectiva de NOAA nos da una alta probabilidad de ver temperaturas por debajo del promedio en los siguientes 6 a 10 días. Mañana las temperaturas se subirán hasta el rango de los 78 hasta 81 grados en toda nuestra región aquí en el centro de Carolina del Norte y el martes tendremos temperaturas cálidas, pero tenemos la oportunidad de ver algo de lluvia y tormentas en nuestra área. A medida que se acerca un frente frío, y ese frente frío traerá temperaturas más bajas a nuestra área. 
Jueves y viernes veremos temperaturas más frías, pero las condiciones despejadas regresan a medida que ingresamos en un patrón de clima estable.